Welcome to the Good Bulb YouTube channel. Uh, this is going to be a quick video on how to bypass a ballast. But before I get into showing you how to bypass a ballast, I need to let you know that I am not an electrician. If you do have questions, please contact an electrician. This is simply an educational video uh, from a light bulb guy. So before we get into how to bypass a ballast, you need to ask yourself a question. Why would we bypass a ballast? Why would we switch over to LED tubes? Offices and businesses and warehouses throughout the country have been using uh, fluorescent lighting, whether it's a T8, some people still have T12s, and fluorescent light bulbs lose light as they age, they can flicker, and each fluorescent light bulb in every single fixture across the country, is re it needs a ballast in order to operate it. Businesses are now switching to LED tubes. It looks very similar to a fluorescent tube, but it, it is extremely different technology. You're cutting your energy savings in half. You're maintaining your light output throughout the life of the bulb. You're never going to see a flicker, and you're bypassing a ballast, uh, which is a moving part inside of that fixture that simply could go wrong. Okay, disclosure number two. Uh, first, I want to show you a couple fixtures. If you did not purchase your fixtures from Good Bulb, if you did not purchase your LED tubes from Good Bulb, please do not call us uh, and ask for help uh, because, once again, we are not electricians and we cannot give that advice. If you're just starting this project, call Good Bulb. We've got the fixtures, we have the best tubes in the industry and we will do everything we can to make a difference in your business. Okay, uh, the first thing to realize is that every single fixture is different. Um, this fixture on the table that we have, for example, it opens up here from the inside. What you're gonna need to do, depending on what type of fixture you have, is you need to get to this ballast. This is another fixture. And this fixture opens up from the back side with the ballast here. These are nice fixtures. Um, hopefully this is your setup. This is another fixture here. A little different, again, it's coming in through the back side, uh, but different housings um, where the wires, where the power is going into the fixture. This is an all-in-one LED fixture. Uh, beautiful fixture, it's another way to go. For today's example, I'm going to be using uh, this four lamp, it's a T8 fixture. And it's also important that I explain that the, the wiring that we are doing today is for a double-ended LED tube. A double-ended LED tube means that it needs to be powered at both ends from each socket when you do this wiring. There are also single-ended LED tubes. There are hybrid LED tubes. So before you do anything and before you follow my instructions here, make sure you are using a double-ended tube. So as we, I already did the leg work. I got this ready to be opened up. You can see here that the, uh, the ballast is connected to the fixture. Um, uh, the four lamp reflector is attachable with the wires that are coming from the ballast into the sockets on both ends, as well as power coming into this fixture. I'm also, uh, I am cheating a little bit. I know a lot of you guys at home are gonna be standing on a ladder. You might be on a forklift. Uh, the fixtures could be in the ceiling. They could be hanging. Uh, depending on your application, how you get into this fixture is gonna change and we're simply going to show you the basics. Okay, the fixture is ready to go. This is a really easy fixture to do this demonstration. Uh, it, was a, it was set up for fluorescence and it is set up for a double-ended tube because you have power coming into one side. And if you follow the yellow, you have neutral going into the other side. I said yellow on purpose. You have two reds here or you have two blues here. 
When you make this transition to LED tubes and a double-ended fixture, color doesn't matter anymore. The only thing that matters is that you have color on one side and you have neutral on the other side. So we're going to start cutting wires. Before you cut a wire, make sure the power is off. Uh, the last thing anyone wants to do is get electrocuted. I'm going to start with the neutrals. And I am now disconnected from the ballast. I'm then going into the power. And again, I'm going to cut it closer to the ballast here. Power on one side, neutral on the other side. Now I can get ready to remove this ballast. Okay, I have uh, disconnected all the wires. Um, I've disconnected the black and white, which is the power that was coming into the fixture from the ballast. The next thing that I am going to do is remove the ballast from this fixture uh, because I, I will recycle this ballast. Uh, technically, you could leave the ballast in the fixture and simply bypass it and never worry about it. But there is a lot, there's stuff in this ballast that should be recycled um, and taken care of properly. Uh, Good Bulb can help you with recycling and we would be more than happy to help. Okay, ballast is out. Um, it's time to wire everything together. Uh, again, going back to what I had said earlier, color doesn't matter. I am gonna connect two reds, two blues, and the black. Get better wire nuts than what I'm dealing with here. But you just twist that wire nut until it's nice and snug. All of those nut wires are now connected into one, and we have a connection. Uh, power coming from your from your business or from your home is all running into each one of these sockets. The next step is to connect your neutral. We have two yellows and one white. Uh, unique pairing and I lost my wire nut but you twist on that wire nut you get all three of them together and your neutral is connected and you're done the next thing to do is to put this fixture together screw on the tubes and turn on the power and your LEDs are good to go and you never have to change another ballast you never have to worry about flickering, and you have just reduced your energy savings by approximately 50%, sometimes more. So thank you for your time. I really hope this helped. Again, this is educational. I'm not an electrician. We are Good Bulb, and we look forward to helping you in the future.